hi welcome back to my channel so if you don't know me already I'm Sarah and I talk about I don't know I kind of talk about everything my hair what I'm eating veganism water parks kind of whatever I feel like talking about for that day so for today I have been vegan for four years so we're gonna talk about why I went vegan today Sorry, I'm sweating so much because it's I have the air on and it's right next to me and I can't have it on and you guys can hear me at the same time because it's really loud. So if I'm sweating, that's why. So okay, let's start all the way at the beginning. Back to little baby Sarah. So my mom always tells me that I was difficult for multiple reasons, but one of them was I always had stomach problems and they had to try a ton of different milks and then they ended up giving me a really expensive like non-dairy milk. Okay, so that's where that started. Fast forward to like middle school, I was getting such bad stomach pains. Um, we couldn't figure out why. Like my, for those of you that know me, my dad's a physician and so I went to him well, first I went to my mom, and I was like, okay, my stomach is hurting. And they're like, oh, okay, you know, like kids say their stomach hurts. They don't want to go to school or whatever. So like, it just kept happening, kept happening. And my mom was like, okay, take some Tums or do this or do that. And it would come every day. And we had no idea what was going on. My dad couldn't figure it out. My mom couldn't figure it out. So I finally went to the doctor. The doctor says, okay, we don't, your mom couldn't figure out, your dad couldn't figure it out by just going through like day to day just thinking about like what you're eating everyone in the house is eating the same thing what's wrong with your, your stomach so the doctor says okay make a journal of what you've been eating every day for two weeks every single thing you put in your mouth so I'm like okay so I got myself a little tiny journal and religiously wrote in everything that I ate so fast forward two weeks go back to the doctor and the doctor's like Literally, she probably took a look at it for, flip, just flipped through it for like, I don't even know, like 10 seconds. She goes, oh, you're lactose intolerant. We were like, what? It was that easy? <laughs> so she goes, yeah, do you see these like patterns of what you're eating? So she pointed out to me, which is now very obvious. For breakfast, Sis was having a bowl of cereal with 2% milk, probably a glass of milk. Okay, that's not that bad, right? Oh, yogurt probably. Lunch rolls around. I'm having something with dairy in it. I don't know, like mac and cheese um, with milk, ice cream, yogurt. Dinner rolls around, also eating something with dairy in it. Maybe like a cheeseburger with, I don't know, what did I even eat back then? A whole bunch of dairy. And then on top of that, I would always have ice cream for dessert. And then in the middle of the night, I would get up and have a huge cup of milk. Like when I say huge, I mean like huge cup of milk. 2% milk. So I would do this every day. No wonder my stomach hurt. So, the pediatrician solved the big mystery of my stomach problems. She gave some suggestions. She said that I she said I could still have dairy, but in smaller quantities and less frequently, or I could get stuff like lactate. So we got lactate milk and lactate ice cream, which I don't know about now. It's probably way it tastes way better now, but back then like it it wasn't that good so there was an, another option I don't remember what the pill was called um, but I can find it and I'll insert a picture somewhere of it but it's like a pill and it was like you could take it with dairy and it had the enzymes in it to break down dairy which was my problem so I would take that pill before I had ice cream or before I had um, milk or anything with dairy in it and it would um, my stomach wouldn't hurt so I'd carry around these pills with me everywhere my mom had some in her bag I had some in my bag 
and I would have, we had lactate milk in the fridge, and then I think we had lactate ice cream. And then I think I was okay with the cheese because I always had the, the little pill with me. So that was in middle school. Mystery solved. All right, we're gonna fast forward through high school and like halfway through college because then I started eating everything again. <clears throat> um, what did I do? In, before I went to college, I went on Weight Watchers with my mom and I lost quite a bit of weight. I think I was down to like 130. Um, right now, 139. So we, I don't, I'm not sure if I was eating a whole bunch of dairy then. I want to say no because you have to work with like the point system. Um, I'm not sure if it's the same now, but back then that's what the points were. And dairy and um, anything like cheeseburgers and stuff with like with dairy, like mac and cheese was too many points. And I only had 30 points for the day. I didn't want to go over my points. So I was not eating anything. Um, probably I wasn't eating a lot of dairy, but I still, I think I still had those little pills around the house, like if I needed it. But I also knew that if I didn't either have the pill or if I had too much dairy, I knew my stomach would hurt. So I would kind of adjust um, what I would do. And if I took off like a couple of days eating dairy, like I stopped, say like Monday, Tuesday, and then Wednesday, I was like, ooh, I want ice cream. Then I would wait like a couple more days to have more dairy. So I wouldn't like overload my stomach with dairy. Um, I was getting better at like getting around it. So then we stopped with the lactate in the house and we stopped with the, um, the like weird ice cream and that kind of faded away. Um, I just like kind of went, I don't know, just got better at like gauging my stomach with the dairy. So fast forward to college. Um, I was like eating everything, eating all types of wild. Like <laughs> I like, I don't even know what was like around college campuses. Like every restaurant that you could think of, I was there. I called myself like healthy, but like Wendy's chicken nuggets and fries, like KFC mac and cheese and mashed potatoes and biscuits. Uh, I don't really think that's healthy. So that's what I was eating and I was considering myself to be healthy. At this point, I probably wasn't even watching like I don't remember so I want to say no I wasn't watching like my dairy I wasn't watching like anything really that I was putting in my body I was eating a whole bunch of meat um, which is also a problem so I was just kind of I was like being super reckless and not drinking enough water so I was super dehydrated like it was a mess like something was bound to happen so it did um, so one night my stomach hurt so bad you guys like I was on the ground in the fetal position like so I called my dad, or first I called my mom. I always call moms first because I don't like my dad, like, you know, he like goes into doctor mode and like all these things like start going through his head, like, you know what I mean? And we didn't, we don't want to take it there unless we need to take it there. So I called my mom first and she's like, okay, just take Tums. And also, mind you, throughout this whole, like my whole college career, I had Tums like everywhere in my purse, um, in the car, um, everywhere like there's like a roll probably in my um little medicine cabinet in school right now but I haven't used Tums in so long but back then I needed them all the time um and my dad uses them all the time too my brother uses them all the time too we all got stomach issues okay so this night in particular my stomach was hurting like crazy like I was on the ground like my roommates were like knocking on the door like girl you okay and this night we were having a party at our house and like I couldn't even get up for the party it was just it was a mess so I call my mom she's like okay take some Tums and like drink some water like you'll be fine okay so I'm like laying on the floor in my room and I'm like okay I'm not fine I already took two so she's like okay take two more okay like roll over and take two more and then I'm like okay I sit there and wait a bit I wait a bit I wait a bit nothing is helping nothing no water I had like I had my friend go get like um some ginger ale or like some sprite or something that wasn't working so then at this point I was like okay I already have four tums like I don't even know like how many how many tums like can you take like can you OD on tums like no but at this point, these are the thoughts that are going through my head. Like, oh my god, I don't want to take too many Tums. Like, and I've never been huge on taking medicine anyway. Um, but, like, when I tell you my stomach was, like, 
I don't even know. It kind of felt like somebody was stabbing me. And, like, it cut, like it would fluctuate. So then I'd be like, oh, okay, like, the medicine's working. This is great. And then it would just come back. And I'll be like, so. Okay, so then the, the pain, like, it kept going in and out, fluctuating. Wasn't getting any better. I think it was actually getting worse. So finally, I was like, you know what? Let me call my dad. So I call him, and he's like, okay, what have you taken already? So I give him, like, the runabout. Like, okay, I took this amount of Tums. Okay, I had this to drink. And what did you eat? Okay, I told him what I ate. So he goes, okay, take some more Tums. I was like, really? <laughs> That's all you can tell me? Take more Tums? I'm in pain here. So finally, I was like, okay, fine. So I take some more Tums, and I sit, and I wait, and I wait, and I wait, and I wait. He calls me back, maybe like, I don't know, 15 minutes later, and he's like, are you doing better? I'm still on the ground at this point. I'm still in the fetal position. My roommate's like, keep coming back in, like, keep coming back in, like, you good? And I can tell, like, obviously I'm, like, ruining their time because it's a whole party downstairs, like, at our house, in college. Like, everyone's kicking it. So I wait until, like, I don't even know what time it was. I think everybody left the party, and it was, like... 3 a.m. or something I don't even know I think something like that or 2 a.m. I want to say 2 a.m. and my roommate I was like I can't take this anymore and my parents had given me the go-ahead like if you need to go to the ER like you can go not a big deal like obviously you're in pain and it's not going away so my roommate was like yes like I'll take you let's go so I like I hobbled to the car like I was so like I was in so much pain like even walking I was like I can't even with this so we're like driving around trying to find a hospital which is like I don't even know why like there's hospitals I went to school in Cincinnati like there are hospitals in Cincinnati so like there was this one hospital I was like oh I don't want to go there like sis like why are you being picky like you're in pain <laughs> so like finally we pull up to this hospital and I sit there for a while I don't even remember like how I like got checked in and like all that business but I do remember like vividly being in the room finally and like waiting and they give me this like cocktail thing which we have at our house like that's how you know it's a problem like when we have this like cocktail that they have at the hospital at our house because we have stomach issues so they give me this cocktail it's like white milky like it's just a coat your stomach so the doctor's in there right <laughs> and they give me it and I'm like looking around and I'm like feeling it. You know how like when you feel like you're going to throw up, your mouth gets all watery, you get all like hot. And I'm like looking around and I'm like feeling all this like happening in my body, like getting all sweaty. And I'm like, uh, I feel sick. And they're like, oh, okay. Like the nurse, like, oh, okay. And she's like turned around, like doing something, like writing in my chart or something. And I'm like, I feel sick. And she was like, okay. I was like, I feel sick. I'm like screaming at this point. <laughs> and she's like okay and like turns around and like grabs the trash can and as soon as she turns like with the trash can I like throw up so basically I sat in the ER for forever um they didn't help me at all they gave me some nasty medicine and then I threw up and basically oh they gave me fluids too because I said I was extremely dehydrated so I had my fluids that medicine that I threw up and yeah I think that was it all right so <clears throat> after I threw up I think we just finished the fluids and I think they asked me if I like wanted something else or if I wanted it again and I was like no it didn't even help me anyways obviously it didn't because it was only in my stomach for what like 20 seconds 30 seconds it might have been a minute who knows I can't remember um so I finally get discharged at this point it's probably like 5 a.m or 6 a.m the sun's coming up my roommate takes me to the store we get crackers and ginger ale and like that was my diet for a while so my other roommate at the time she had or she has Crohn's disease so she sent me her doctor's information and I made an appointment with him so I go in and I talk to him and he's kind of confused I give him a full history and like tell him like he has my paperwork from the hospital and everything and he's like I don't know like what's going on I'm gonna give you this medicine don't remember the name of the medicine I just remember it was blue and he was like you'll probably have to take this for the rest of your life excuse me what 
so he says that and then he's like okay we're gonna schedule you for a procedure so we can look at your stomach maybe you have some ulcers or something that we can like identify like something that we can treat i was like okay boom so my mom comes down um meets me there they put me to sleep look down my like look put the camera down my stomach um i wake up and he's like mm, i mean your stomach's irritated but like nothing that we can see really just keep taking the medicine and if it gets really bad then take a double dose of the medicine and then printed had the audacity bro printed off this list i'm telling you it's like two to three pages like front back of like things to avoid things to never eat and it was like things like tomatoes like just like regular food it wasn't like don't eat hot sauce and like you know what i mean it wasn't it was like basic foods and i was like looking at him like okay so you want me to take this medicine every single day for the rest of my life and then avoid eating all these like regular foods like no <laughs> so i want to say like a couple of days later i'm like at home my mom left already and um she, like i think we went to the store and like got a whole bunch of like random stuff that i could eat um got my medicine and i was like looking at this list of stuff i couldn't eat and i was just like no and I don't even know what I googled or what I went on YouTube and found and this was in 2013 I'm so sorry I'm like terrible with the like keeping track of like the dates or whatever but this is 2013 and I go on Google and I don't even know like diet for like stomach problems because like at this point I don't even know like what is wrong with my stomach so I'm like looking up stuff, looking up stuff, because I'm like, I can't, there's no way I can go through life, number one. I don't want to take this pill for the rest of my life. I don't know what else it's doing to my body. And like, and then these are just like normal foods that I have to avoid because why? We don't even know. So I'm looking up like all these things and out pops fully raw Christina. And I'm like, veganism? Raw veganism? And like, if you know me at all like when i decide to do something i'm like i'm in i'm like all in so of course i'm like looking up all these videos watching everything like binge watching like all her videos and like all her recipes everything looks delicious and so i'm like making a list like frantically i'm like sending stuff to my mom she's like okay girl like calm down and so i um made a list of groceries and like um was following like all her recipes so the next morning i wake up i think i went to the farmer's market and got like zucchinis and lettuce and avocados and tomatoes and like a whole bunch of stuff and i went raw vegan for like four months or so for i don't know four months i was making all sorts of recipes smoothies i got a um I don't even know what it's called yo nana that's what it's called a yo nana machine so that i could have my frozen fruit and then i would like make the ice cream and it worked out well like my stomach loved it and i'm pretty sure like stuff that i was eating was on my little list that i couldn't eat and my stomach was loving it and everything was fine okay so i feel like this video is getting really long <laughs> story time turned into like a really really long story time so Cutting out meat for me, like, after that whole hospital situation was, like, a no-brainer. Um, I, my stomach, like, it just doesn't digest it. And, like, I'm not very good at, like, chewing my food. Like, my mom always says, you inhale, like, you eat. Like, <laughs> why do you eat so fast? I don't know, mom. So, that was a problem. So, I decided in 2015 that I was like, you know what? I don't know, I'm just gonna go vegan. Like, like, let's do it. Why not? and i got rid of everything i needed to get rid of um i i at this point i had already switched over like my milks and stuff like to almond milk and like um now you can find like a whole bunch of vegan ice cream vegan cheese like everything so yeah so i've been vegan now for four years and it's awesome i love it um a year ago um what 
sorry, a year ago, I started my like weight loss journey because I had gained like a ton of weight and I started at 165 pounds. So when I got into like eating like fully vegan, I started eating like junk food vegan, which is like, which is fine. Um, but it also made me gain a lot of weight and I was thinking like, oh, just because I'm eating vegan, I'm healthy. No. <laughs> It's still junk food. Like, you can still have, like, there's, like, the purple Dorito bag. If you guys know, that's, like, accidentally vegan. And, like, Oreos. And, like, a whole bunch of, like, fake meat with, like, fake cheese and, like, potatoes. And with, like, a whole bunch of, like, other stuff on top of it. Like, it just wasn't a healthy diet. Like, chips and, like, it was, like, a lot. Cookies and there's a lot of vegan junk food, like, trust. And just because you're vegan does not mean that you're healthy. So I gained a whole bunch of weight. So now, like about a year ago, I started drinking like protein shakes that are vegan and eating like, make sure I'm eating like a ton of fruit and vegetables. And I do still eat like vegan chicken and stuff, but I make sure I eat it with my fruits and vegetables or like grains. Like I have a whole bunch of um, like oatmeal and I drink a gallon of water now which I, it's like 9 at night or like 10 and I need to finish this like for the day. Okay, so I'm going to round out this video, but quickly I just want to talk about like some supplements that I take also now and like things that I'm just aware of now and everything, everybody should be aware of it, whether you're vegan or you're not vegan. Um, my B12 levels, I have, I think I have three different types of B12 and let me, grab them okay so these are my b12 so i have my kind organics i think this is like one of my favorite ones sorry they like kind of spilled in the fridge okay can you focus like what no well it's garden of life if you can like kind of see that maybe i can like insert a picture because like that is not focusing at all so it's just like a little spray bottle so you just spray like one spray in your mouth let's see what it says actually shake well take one spray daily so i have like some of this left so i just take one spray of this or i have this one is from fresh time this is also b12 so this is like in a dropper so i'll just like fill up the dropper like this and then just put it in my mouth and they all taste really good like they're all like berry flavored and then this one is the vegan safe which i think this is one of my favorites i just finished it really fast i don't know why i keep this i guess um to make sure that like I get it again I don't know why I still have this in the fridge and then I also take a vegan multivitamin I love this one um the pills are like really big but you know what hey and they smell kind of nasty but yeah so I am fully aware that I need enough b12 i need but like you need enough vitamin a b c d you need all that so that's all in here um iron i don't know if there's iron in this but i do make sure i get enough iron through my grains and then for vegans or vegetarians um you want to make sure you're pairing your iron with some sort of citrus because it it's um it helps with the absorption of the iron so whenever i have spinach in my smoothies i always put like um lemon or lime or orange juice in there and then yeah or if i cook with it i'll put that in there as well to better absorb my iron um what else did i want to say i cook about like 90 percent of my food and then i'll have like cheat days where i'll just eat like oh there's like a couple of vegan restaurants here um where i live in grand cayman and they make like amazing vegan food and it's i wouldn't even say it's like vegan junk food either it's like really it's pretty healthy food um so i'll have that or um i don't even know like vegan chocolate or ice cream i like for sure have this i've owned fries fries are fries are everything so um that's my vegan story if you have any questions about being vegan or how i transitioned um or like any like recommendations or tips or anything to transition to be vegan please let me know below um yes and thank you for watching and i'll see you in my next video